Next, we've got Zach Hadid, and he's going to be talking about building global brands through NFTs with their own NFT collection, which is the Days Ducks. So, Zach, come on up. Good morning, everybody. Quack, quack. How's everybody doing today? That's it? Come on, let me hear some more energy. Quack, quack, everybody, let me hear it. Quack, quack. We're from Antigua. My name is Zach Hadid, and I'm representing the Days Ducks. Uh, our originator team actually is all from the Caribbean and Antigua, and that's kind of why I wanted to talk to you guys today about building global brands through NFTs. Uh, being an entrepreneur myself, our artists working for probably the last 20 years as a uh, full-time artists and our other two founders being tech entrepreneurs themselves, we've run into a lot of struggles over the last five, 10 years in our careers, being located in Antigua, in the Caribbean, trying to reach the global markets, the global audiences. Uh, everything that we've done, you know, e-commerce wise, whether that was physical products, physical branding, it often ended up coming to a point where we, we kind of hit our market cap and that was it. Uh, very limiting, not getting the respect that we deserved. So what we decided to do with the potential that we were seeing in the NFT space and the opportunity for our artists was come up with the collection, The Days Ducks. The Days Ducks is a 10,000 PFP collection that our artist uh, drew himself, generative art. And when we minted out back in January, we started originally marketing locally and regionally with the idea that we were going to showcase what the Caribbean vibes were in the NFT space and how we could bring the masses into recognizing that. Um, to date, we've got about 3,600 holders. We've done over 100,000 Solana traded on Magic Eden and the different secondary markets and have been able to do things that we've never thought before. We're working with vendors and have consumers all across the globe, and we're now realizing that we have the potential to turn the Days Ducks into a global brand. That's why we're here at NFT NYC. We wanted to showcase who we were, what we believed in, and what those core values were. Those core values really were hinging on what we see in the Caribbean communities, and now showcasing that to you guys across the rest of the globe. Some things there are being very transparent, building organic relationships, being very trustworthy, and really putting your reputation and neck on the line with everything you do and making sure you do it to your best ability. Our artist, he set that pace. I don't have our art up here right now, but if you see some of my PFPs and some of our art on Twitter, you'll often see that what he's done is very unique, very authentic, and very reflective of who he, he is as a brand himself. Now we've been able to gain him that recognition, and we as the other co-founders in the team, myself in charge of marketing and branding, our tech officer, our CFO, we're trying to keep up with that pace that he has sent. We're here six months after Mint. We've worked on building out quite a few different ventures in our roadmap that we believe also reflect who we are, but can add value to the Days Ducks brand in a sense that it doesn't limit you to having to interact with just our NFT collection. Um, so after Mint, as I said, we raised quite a bit of funding that we wanted to build out these Web3 ventures with. And we've actually created sub-brands now that we believe have a global appeal for all of the audiences in different niche markets in this space to interact with. Some of those include your traditional apparel and merchandise, but also a, a, a twist on a game place. Not our own individual game, but you know maybe those games that you're familiar with from the Web2 space, now with that Web3 layer. And finally, an ad exchange on chain. With these three ventures, we believe that not only do you now have the Days Ducks brand as a, just an NFT PFP collection, but also what we've kind of framed as a hodl to earn DAO, kind of like a digital VC in a sense. You know, raising these funds, building out these Web3 brands that have value, that are engaging enough to keep the customers there and not just have everything being a case where people are extracting value from the space. We're builders, we're innovators, we're a bit of a Solana maxi, and we believe that, you know, that it really is what you have to do in order to add value to this space and add value to our brand. So we constantly are looking for ways to be innovative, but also blend that Web 2 with Web 3 so that it's familiar for the masses. 
I think a lot of us get so caught up in the space talking about what's next in Web3 and, and you know, driving all our audience into interacting with our discords or having to be grinding on Twitter to just be engaged with us. And we're trying to change that, break it all away. Our tech officer will say, good tech is tech that you don't see. And we strongly believe in that too. We want to make this a seamless transition. We're also familiar with these Web2 brands. Why not make it easy to be familiar with Web3? I think my time's up. Thank you guys. Quack, quack. Coming up. <laughs>